What's up, YouTube? Scott Tannic one coming at you again with a very highly anticipated album for me that came out this year. This one came out in October, October 14th to be exact. Um, back with their old label, Peaceville. Let's get into it. The Mighty Mighty Dark Throne make their return with Arctic Thunder. Man, this is a fucking awesome album. Um, definitely a step up from the Underground Resistance. Dark Throne being... One of my favorite second wave black metal bands. I had to get this. Um, Pre-ordered this beast. Just, you know, standard edition. I didn't really have a lot of scratch for like a bonus edition or anything. So I just picked this one up. But man, I'm glad I did. Um, let's go ahead and get into some tracks. Of course, the one we all heard to kick off, Tundra Leech. Awesome, awesome return to form. It sounds more akin to their latter year black metal albums. Um, I'm thinking more in the line of like um, Hate Them without minus the industrial themes on them. But Nocturnal Occultals never sound better. Fenris's arrangements, his drum work is amazing. Um, keep going on with Burial Bliss, Boreal Fiends, Inbred Vermin title track i mean this is an awesome awesome album album throw me throw me to the marshes is where it kind of bogs down a bit one of those that i just didn't really get into i listened to it i listened to this album all through october as soon as i got my hands on this one i listened to this one actually it didn't really come out of rotation till like last week when i got another album but i'm a huge fucking fan of Dark Throne. I'm a huge fan of this album. It's a very good return to form, man. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, not the album, the track Deep Lake Trespass is another really, really solid track on here. Then it finishes off with the Wyoming Distance. This album is just Dark Throne being Dark Throne, man. Getting back to uh, discarding the crust punk era of Dark Throne, just getting back to a more death metal slash black metal infused style that was what made Dark Throne Dark Throne. It's definitely not a throwback to the Unholy Trilogy. This is no Transylvanian Hunger. This is no Blaze in the Northern Sky. This is definitely not Under a Funeral Moon. But it's definitely, for as long as Dark Throne's been in the game, this is a very fucking solid release. Anyone who's a fan of this band, if you don't have this already, I don't know what your fucking hang-up is. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rate this one. Dark Throne Arctic Thunder is definitely a hardcore 5 out of 5. I enjoyed the fuck out of this record. I still do. I probably will spend it after this review. Um, like I said, I got a basic, basic edition here. Nothing, you know, too fancy, but definitely pick it up. It's going to be very high on my best of end year list. It may even take the cake. It it may or may not. It's it's very debatable at this time. I'm going to listen to some of the other stuff from this year before I really make that decision. But it's looking like this is going to be my album of the year. I love, love the hell out of this album. So glad Dark Throne's back and they released a really solid album. Um, Underground Resistance was good, but man, I just didn't... I'm not feeling it like I feel Arctic Thunder. I mean, it's just... Back to basics, back to, you know, the cold sounding Dark Throne that we all just love and adore. Um, definitely pick it up. Definitely pick it up. Five out of five. Awesome, awesome album. But you know what? Tell me what you think about you know, this so far, this series of reviews that I've done, especially on this one. I know I kind of glanced over it quickly, but man, this I mean this album really speaks for itself. It doesn't need me to tell you how great it is you just pick it up your pick it up for yourself or listen to it on youtube and i definitely if you check it out on youtube i'm pretty sure you're gonna pick this album up it's just that good five out of five for dark thrones arctic thunder um i'm gonna keep it going got one more review i'm gonna do here um another very highly anticipated album from another legendary band but we'll get into that in the next review um see you in the next vid youtube